Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and back with what should be the third and possibly final archive of the day, although I actually don't even know if this is going to be the final archive. I don't actually know how many things are going to get archived, but it's going to be a lot. This is my archives to Season 1 of ReZero, Starting Life in Another World. Um, there's an ant. God damn it. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm going to have to remember to wash my hands. Um, I've been dealing with ants. I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel before, but there have been ants freaking everywhere. And it's been super annoying. And um, I've been dealing with this for like probably like two months now at least. Like it's it's been an ongoing thing. And eventually, and uh, just different parts of the place and whatever. It's been a pretty potato thing. And hopefully it eventually uh, stops. But is it, these are going to be the ReZero archives, which, um, yeah, so obviously I reacted to ReZero not too long after it came out. Um, I was pretty close to when it actually happened. Um, this is one of my favorite animes of all time. Um, I know that's not the most popular opinion. I know there are some people that don't really like this show. Now, most people think it's great, to be fair. I think the general consensus is that this is a great show, but this is definitely, out of all the anime that I've said or like, to me, come across as just amazing shows. This is probably the most controversial one um, that I can think of because I think, I mean, I guess a lot of people dislike Ava, but most people can recognize it as the classic that it is, even if they aren't the biggest fans. But I think Ava, I think Cowboy Bebop, I think Full Metal Alchemist, Code Geass has some haters. That's certainly one that not everyone loves, but most people I'd say do. Um, what else? Um, what else is like really next level? Steins Gate. Um, that's probably, like, and I could probably think of a couple more that are, like, right on that border with ReZero, like, No Game, No Life, Konosuba, Your Lie in April, um, but, like, it's up there in my upper echelon, um, so I consider this a fantastic show, I think it's only gonna get better over time, and I think, similarly to, I think of ReZero actually a lot like Attack on Titan, I think this is a show that over time it will further supplant its legacy as an incredible show, I think season two will probably push a lot of the way towards that. So I'm super excited for season two. Um, I'm also looking forward to the extra cuts. We're going to get extra scenes that were cut from season one in the winter. So when I rewatch the show, I'll probably rewatch them with the extra cuts, which should be really cool. And uh, yeah, there's not really a whole lot else to say about um about ReZero. It's a great show. I love it. Um, but as far as the actual kind of story or at least kind of the general themes... But I think one of the main reasons I'm a fan of this show, and I think what really separates it from um, your typical isekai for me, is that ReZero is all about pain and heartache and torture and depression. And all of those, I think, are very good elements of a story. And I think many good tales have a lot of pain in them. I think if you look at my favorite shows... Pretty much all of those involve the main character, the major characters, going through a lot of pain and heartache. And actually, you could pretty much say that with every single one I just named, except for maybe No Game, No Life, um, at least not to the level. And I guess Konosuba as well. But if you look at Your Line April, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Code Geass, Evangelion, um, Steins Gate, etc., there is kind of a, th a theme of trials and tribulations but not only just overcoming the these trials and tribulations but legitimately being severely hurt by them but not just physically although usually physically as well but mentally and emotionally and that trauma and damage and how it shapes a character into their future um attack on titan is another one um how they shape their character into their future and how it plays into the overall narrative of the story how ReZero decides to do that is with a very interesting concept, which, I mean, to be fair, is not the most original thing in the world, but I think the brutal nature of ReZero complements this gimmick so well. And it's simply the fact that if Subaru, which is the main character, Natsuki Subaru, if Subaru dies, he's brought back to life at his last checkpoint, whatever that might be. And I think what makes that so good is that he experiences life and friendship and love then someone kills him it's ripped away and he loses these experiences if everyone else does and 
There's a gimmick in the show which has to do with the darkness and potentially the Great Witch Satella, where he's not able to tell other people about this in any universe. So that's kind of it's interesting because obviously at least season one was animated by White Fox, which is the same studio that did Stein's Gate. And obviously that's a kind of separation between ReZero and Stein's Gate in regards to his inability to tell people. Because obviously in that sense, ReZero and Stein's Gate have a lot of similarities. Um, and it's really interesting. And I think if you're into a series that's all about... Um, kind of trying to overcome anguish and heartbreak. It's a really good one, I think, personally. Even though I wasn't a huge fan of the kind of last six or seven episodes. I didn't really like the final arc of season one all that much. I thought that was the weakest part of the season for me. But overall, I mean, you take the first 18 episodes, I thought they were absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously, there was the big moment that pissed most of the fandom off that I thought was actually brilliant. And I have a lot of actually theories about that and stuff that I will probably save until ReZero season two to get into my crazy theories regarding the show. But there's a lot of stuff there to unpack because there was an, there was that amazing moment that pissed a lot of people off um, at the, in the later part of season one and just so many other stuff. It's a brutal watch. Um, it's definitely not for the faint of heart, but I, think ReZero is awesome, and my reactions are once again back and available on YouTube. I mean, you guys know what's up. Down below in the description, BitChute, Mega, whatever. There'll be links down below to my ReZero reactions, so check those out if you so desire, but you probably already have. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to sign off here, and um, I got more redirects uh, slash reviews. I got more archive reviews to record, so... Until next time, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.